Now I will run through the same techniques at the speed required in the real situation in order to avoid clotting and air drying. Now let's move on and do a thin needle aspiration biopsy on an actual patient. I start with careful palpation and estimation of the size of the mass and the depth under the skin. I then place my fingers on top of the mass, spread them and hold the mass firmly. The skin between my fingers is cleansed with a simple alcohol swab. Now, without moving my fingers, holding the target, I pick up the instrument and get in position. I support the syringe with my thumb like this. Another possibility is to simply lean the syringe on my forefinger. The needle will enter the skin at an angle. Because of this, I will penetrate the skin a little below the mass so that the needle tip is heading straight for the center of it. I'm now in a good position to go ahead with the sampling and will move right along. This sample consisted of a small semi-solid droplet that lent itself very well to division and the basic smearing technique. One slide was fixed in 95% ethyl alcohol and the other one was left on the table to air dry. Make sure the smear is completely dry before putting it into any type of container. If it is put in wet, there will be artifact due to slow drying. Leaving the lid of the container open does not alleviate this problem. I always do a second sample of any one target in order to ensure enough material and also to sample more than one area in a large target. The second sample is more likely to contain blood than the first one. This is because of the trauma of the first sampling. In this case, the second sample contains a fair amount of blood. Here, I use a combination of the first two concentration techniques described earlier. <laughs> 